Let's get back to your first alert forecast and temperatures are expected to what climb into the what the 80s the 90s at some point Mike what yes, are you thinking they are in fact as we were discussing earlier it's going to be a little strange in the sense that it's not going to warm up immediately in fact over the weekend we've got some onshore flow that will keep temperatures slightly below average so you're going to get a lot of folks going hey heat what heat where is it it's coming in fact as I was mentioning earlier put this in your mind Tuesday is the magic day. We'll see some transitional weather on Sunday and Monday. Today was actually really pleasant. Take a look at this, some 80s. 81 was a big number from Arlington all the way through Seattle down towards Bremerton. Olympia got in on some of that. A little cooler on, along the coast there. Some onshore flow is actually creating some pretty dense fog there currently. Right now, downtown Seattle, we just shaved three degrees off within about the last half hour or so. We were riding in the upper 60s for a good long while. Still very pleasant out there. Light breeze coming in. You guessed it on shore from the west about seven to 11 miles an hour. Now for a couple days now, I've been kind of smug about the fact that we're in the Pacific Northwest and we've been enjoying some lovely weather while the rest of the nation's been heating up. It's July. It's that time of year, but we are about to become involved in that conversation as well. In the meantime, 113 in Vegas tomorrow, 114 in Phoenix. And as you move off towards the east, take these numbers and add about 10 degrees to them. And that's what the heat index is there. It is extremely uncomfortable across the south and east. So to put it in graphical terms, this is what to expect. After having the idyllic day today, we fall. We'll actually fall into the mid 70s, both Friday and Saturday. And then Sunday and Monday, as I mentioned, we start to see that transition that puts us into the mid 80s. And then as we saw earlier, yeah, we break into the 90s about mid week and we're going to stay there. What's this? This is Westport. We've got some onshore flow right now that's actually bringing in some very dense fog. This is a very high definition camera. So what it's doing is kind of over dramatizing it a little bit. It's not actually raining there, but it's most certainly foggy and we're seeing some water particles as a result. Off towards SeaTac, we've got some mid and upper level cloud cover starting to fill. In fact, that's a big part of our onshore story overnight tonight. 81 was the official high there today. Two degrees above average, no rain in the gauges and take a look at that sun now setting before 9 p.m. High pressure builds across the region and again in the short term we're going to see more cool and more onshore flow but then as this thing comes in off the Pacific it's going to come in south of us and meander very slowly but as you take a look at some of these color gradients here what it shows is that first of all we'll miss the worst of it it's going to be hotter in Oregon and in California but we'll be right on the edge there so we'll see those 80s and 90s do you see that behind me? July 29th. We're talking about what could be a prolonged heat event for us. Take a look across the country right now. We're not the only ones in that boat. All of those colors that you're seeing are some form of heat watch or warning. But in the short term, we've got a small craft advisory and a gale warning up towards the Strait of Juan de Fuca and up towards the San Juan Islands. That'll be in place until tomorrow morning. Speaking of tomorrow morning, we get some onshore flow that will create some of that fog. And then once again, we'll put some sun on it and start to clear it out. And another thing just to give you a heads up on on Saturday, I am expecting some rain and possibly some thunderstorm activity to move across the eastern plains. Seven day forecast shows us in the mid 70s. Yeah, Friday and on Saturday and then we hit the 80s on Sunday and Monday. We hit the 90s on Tuesday and we stay there until at least Thursday.